What's up, Holly Wire? What's up? We're about to interview Isabella. We, can you guys hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Jana, how are we doing over there with, with uh, audio? Good. Yay. What's going on, everybody? Happy Thursday. Hello. Oh, look, there's somebody's name. His name, no, his name is Tommy. I thought it was Tony. Dang it. What's going on, everybody? Who's excited? We're about to interview Isabella Merce. I think I'm saying it right. Isabella Merce. Did I say it right? Yep. Isabella, she is Dora. She's an amazing singer right now. She's got a great song called Loving Kind, uh, Apocalypse, and Apocalypse. Hope, hopefully, I'm not butchering these, these words. Apocalypse. What's up, everybody? Guys, okay, so she's got a great song called Loving Kind. It's trending all over uh, Spotify right now. Uh, can you guys, um, let's see if I, how do you, let's, let's do the, the spelling of the name and put it up there first. Uh, Here, I'll comment it. I got it. Chats with I S A B E L A. There we go, Isabella. Guys, I'm the worst speller on the planet earth like please do not cancel me because of my spelling right Jana right. don't be canceling people because they can't spell how do you pin it oh pin it boom chats with Isabella sweet what's up please continue to inspire hex yeah that was a really great uh comment um, Barrett Thorne, 4W6. Guys, who's got some other really good inspiring things right now? Let's see what, there's Isabella. Let's bring her in. She's probably got some inspiring things. Isabella, we're bringing you into the interview. Go live with. I think I did it a different way. Connecting. Yo. Hi. What's up? What's up? Is my is my connection good? You're, you're killing it. Is, is our connection okay. good? Yeah, you actually, you look crystal clear right now. Awesome. Um, it's, so, it's, it's apocalypsis. Apocalypsis. Yeah, you got it, you got it. Apocalypsis. Uh, apocalypse. So you you got the you got the two vowels. It's apocalypse. Apocalypse. Yes. Ten Thanks. out of ten. I watched the the music video. Did you make that? Um. Yeah, I made it with my friend Chaz. Wow. We'll uh, get to that. I've got all. Okay. I've got a lot of questions about that. We okay. will get to that. But first, we'll start off. So I'm from Ohio. Oh my God! Really? Wait. Which part of Ohio? Columbus. Oh, okay, so that's a little bit down south for me, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm a lake, I'm a lake girl. I'm from Cleveland. Cleveland, so you've been to Cedar Point before. Uh, yeah, Cedar Point, Sandusky. Uh, I've been to. I mean, I, I mostly spent my days at Edgewater, um, like kind of near downtown. How cool is Cedar Point? I mean, is that still happening? I haven't been there in years. But... Cedar Cedar Point is sick. I went there like last year or something, or maybe it was two years ago. And I went to the Top Thrill Dragster, and it wasn't as scary as I remembered it because I actually really love roller coasters. So, I mean, back in the day, I would wear my Heelys to the to the park so that I would be taller. You know, you remember Heelys? No, I, I. What are Heelys? Heelys are those shoes that had like the wheels inside, and yes. they they gave you like five or four inches of height. And I was too short, and I've always been short my entire life, but at the time I was way too short to get on the adult rides. And I would wear my Heelys everywhere, but they, you know, they, they would sometimes let me get away with it. So you had the, the shoes with the wheels on them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That give you, they give you some good height. I might Is get some the, again. I've never, I never tried that out. So it's like skating, but with like shoes. Yeah, you basically just like kick up your heel and then lift the other foot and um, like you'll just slide and you'll just roll everywhere. It's really fun, actually. I highly recommend it. Do you still have a pair? Um, I had my pair that I used to wear. They were pink, but I, I think I'm, I'm gonna get. I gotta get a new pair, a uh, new size, because my feet. I mean, they're really still not that big, but I, I probably could fit into like a children's, maybe twelve or something. 
See if like drip creation can maybe uh, get you some drip creation. Ooh, I bet you no. they can do some like dope Heelys. Hey, that's well, a good I, idea. Let me let me DM them real quick. I don't really slide into people's DMs like that. Tell them to pay me. Tell them to pay me for telling you. Like somehow there's a transaction going on here. <laughs> no, I literally like I have friends who do TikTok and they will reach out to brands for that stuff, but I'm so bad at it. Like you I too. never I never use any like I don't ever pull that card like but I should. I should for at least for my friends or my dogs or something. My dogs can get merch or chains. <laughs> I have been, I, you've gone into a lot of things I wanted to talk about, but we, we, we can go right into dogs. Okay, let's do it. How many dogs do you have? Um, I have only two dogs, but I fostered five dogs throughout the whole quarantine thing. Wow. So you're in, you're, uh, you're, you're like, you work with dog, dog adoption centers and that kind of stuff or? Well, I, I, right now I've been lately, like throughout quarantine, I've been working with this rescue called Real Good Rescue. Um, but their Instagram is like Real Good Dog because there's another rescue that's the same name but it, it's complicated but um yeah i've been working with them and they got me actually like one of these puppies that funny story like because i've been adopting adult sorry fostering adult dogs but um this puppy actually belonged to one of my fans who saw my post and was like we just had a litter an accidental litter and we can't take care of them so they gave him to the rescue the rescue gave him to me so actually like this puppy belonged to one of my fans and thankfully like because they saw the post this puppy and many other the puppies from the litter have a home so it's it's amazing what social media can do for real like it's it's cool so my, my puppy's name is bonbon bon, like the little chocolate covered marshmallow candy boom boom bonbon bon. <laughs> bon bon. bon bon. bon bon. bon bon bon. i'm working on my spanish here i'm working on it <laughs> um you're no you're doing fine because you're thank a fast you. you're a fast learner Yes. Oh, thank you, you might, for the compliments. Thank you, you might butcher me. it like right away, but then right you, away. you fix it right away too. I, I'm the worst speller in the world. Like spelling for me, it's not my strong suit either. I'm just kidding. I, yeah. I don't know why. I like really like spelling. I I really like it. Like you could give me any word and I probably would know how to spell it. Apocalypsis. <laughs> well, of course we know how to spell that one. I'm checking. I'm checking. How do you spell it? Goofy. A P O C A P L I S. You missed it. You missed. Oh wait, A P O C. You messed up. A apoca. Oh, A P O C A L I P S I S. There we go. S I S. Okay. Yes. Let's just go right into that then. That music video is really it. It's kind of dark, but also it's kind of like where we are right now with our times, right? Well, yeah, I mean, well, I wrote the song like eight months ago before before any of this quarantine stuff happened, or maybe it was more. Oh, my gosh, it's July, isn't it? It's July. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the okay. summer's almost over. I'm so scared. Um, okay, so I wrote it maybe, maybe I wrote it like a year ago. And yeah, I don't remember, actually. Time is a construct. Um, basically, I wrote it a while ago before all this stuff happened. And I didn't even know this was going to No one knew this was going to happen. So the, the kind of the way that it aligned is kind of morbid, but it works. And it was about a toxic relationship initially. So the, the meaning and like the, the meaning behind it kind of evolved over time, I guess. Toxic relationship? What happened? What uh, happened? <laughs> no one's asked me that yet. They're all, they all just assume it was like, you know. Um, well, this person, I would diagnose them as sociopathic, honestly. Um, but highly, high, high functioning because he had a job and he could do things in real life. So I didn't know. Three months in, the crazy really jumped out. But it was, it was very, very toxic. And, and um, yes, it was... It was crazy. Um, no, but I, I had to write about it. I had to write about it. Of it course, like, that's what's so great about being an artist or a musician. If you if you're feeling something, you put that into you put it on Spotify. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, or you know, I, I have a lot of songs that I have never released, and then I'll look back at them a few years later. It's like reading my diary or something. It's like very introspective. I'm like, oh, that's what I was thinking back then, or oh, I was into this guy, but actually, you know, this didn't turn out as great as you thought it would. Um, but yeah. Advice, Isabella, if I was in a toxic relationship, what, what advice would you give me? What Get advice out. Would you? Get out. <laughs> Get what out. do you mean? 
or have a like talk with your mother because you know when you're in a relationship like that you can't really see the bigger picture that's why i then the song i have the lyric and the second verse is is maybe we should have more self-control i just don't want you to let me go there's no winning senses are dimming and so are we because you just aren't aware of this like isolation that you're experiencing so someone who really got me out of that was my mom like she was the wake-up call but it took a while it took a while for her to actually like wake me up and be like he is isolating you from everyone you know you know it, it just this is just a general topic for all people really it has nothing specifically but like i have a buddy that i call him too like when i was in it i felt like something was wrong with my relationship i called him because he's got that outer perspective you know yeah we tend to give really good advice that we don't really follow ourselves and that we should follow when it comes to so the did. music video though i just thought actually was really interesting because you're like you're literally made that at, while you're at your place in my room too that was my in room. your room working yeah. on your dance moves but you don't have a TikTok really you don't really do much TikTok. no no i just got one okay i just got one like my friend from cleveland she convinced me to get one because she's TikTok famous and we made some really ridiculous like, they're not serious at all they're really really just ridiculous like we did a shark boy and lava girl parody we did, um, what else did we do? We did the, okay, do you, re you might not remember, this might not be your generation, but you remember Pass the Plate on Disney Channel? Pass the Plate? No, but. It was like, they went around the world trying different foods and they would like show different actors from different Disney Channel countries and they would be talking about these foods from their countries. And they're like, I love zucchini. And their accents were amazing and iconic. And we did one of those and it blew up. It got like, it got like 200K. I was, I was so surprised, 200K likes. Wow. So, what, what's know. like one of your favorite TikTok dance moves or dance trends going right now? Um, I don't really know that much, but my friend, my friends, um, Chloe and Hall Hallie, that you must know them. They're, they're killing it right now. They're killing but, it. Um, their song, Do It, I heard it. On when they were like teasing the song, I heard it. I was like, my psychic senses kicked out. I was like, this is gonna be a bop, and everyone's gonna love it. Something's gonna happen with this song because you know you get that feeling with a certain beat or something, and and it did. It blew up. Do it. Uh, it's a good dance. I can teach you if you would like, but I don't know the whole thing yet. I don't. Oh, know. I'm ready. That's. What oh, you're ready. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go. No, wait. I'm not ready though. I'm not. <laughs> okay. Dang it. No, let's. Okay, there's like one move that's iconic in it. One move. Excuse the treadmill in my, in the foreground. I don't even use it. I don't even know why I have it here. So, anyways, I was, oh, actually, I know why I got it. I got it because Beyonce, you know how they say that she runs on the treadmill while singing with heels on? Wow. No, I don't. I, I, wanted, I, to, I wanted to try it. I didn't even last like 20 seconds. I, Jan, was, have you ever ran on the treadmill with high heels? No. Okay, Jan hasn't, but she will. <laughs> okay, okay, wait. Okay, you should put that on TikTok. That will go viral. Oh my gosh, you're right. Okay, let me write it down in my notes. a lot of ideas we're working on here. So basically, this is one of the moves. You basically like go to your right and then left. But you have to, mm, that's great. Love that. Um, <laughs> you're doing, what you're doing amazing, sweetie. Okay, so what you got to do is you take your hips to the right, okay? Hips, like you scoop it up and down. So you got to bounce up and down and then go faster. Okay, yeah, great, we got it. I, I really can't keep embarrassing you like this. No, so that was it. That was plenty for me. I'm going to repost that and share that on TikTok and go viral. You got it, you got it. <laughs> but wait, I, you know what? Your song right now, uh, uh, The Loving Kind, is literally that song is trending, though. The Loving, yeah, it is, huh? I, it, it, like, it's on my top three favorites, but I just didn't expect that at all. No, it's on all the playlists. Like, it, we hear it on all the pop, it's on the, all the pop playlists right now. Oh, that's good. That's good. I like that. Did you I, not know I, this? I, I didn't know. I, I mean, I knew it was doing decent. Like, I knew that. I just don't like checking the streams. It makes me nervous. I don't know. It's like it's like checking your likes, you know? Yeah, it's doing like, well. Oh, I'll tell you. It's doing really, really well. Okay. That's that's good. That's good. I Honestly, I gotta say Apocalypse is my favorite. But hey, like, if one of my songs is thriving, that's sick. Like, love that. Love you did that. a lot of songs. Well, let's talk. Tell tell me about what is like the loving kind. Who is the loving kind? What is the loving kind? Uh, oh God! I wrote this song about like. Well, I wrote I've written many songs about this person, and and they honestly they deserve it I, because they're amazing. But I just haven't ever told them that I've written all these songs about them. I've been friends with them for so long, and I. 
I just am, you know, obviously they're like my muse or something. But um, I've played them songs that I've written for them with like hidden messages in the lyrics, wow. literally in the lyrics that only they did not, you know, that we would know. And they um, didn't, I don't think they understood because I, I don't know. Or maybe they didn't want to. I don't know. It would be so cool to have a song written about you. I don't care, good or bad. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, but that song specifically is like, just don't waste my time, you know, like, because I'm a busy woman and um, I've got a lot of things to do and I'm used to people just kind of coming into my life. And then it seems like, you know, when they left, I'm like, okay, this was neither a lesson or a blessing. Like, you didn't leave me with much and it just feels like I've wasted my time and, and we don't have a lot of that, you know? You are very busy, like crazy busy. Like that would that would be a challenge. That would be something because you know you got a lot going on. Like you are literally you're Dora. I am Dora. Hola, soy Dora. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I am Dora. Sometimes I mean that that's the thing is like trying to do acting and singing at the same time is so just tough. <laughs> really, it's like it's like because if I'm not writing music which is completely up to me whenever i choose to write music and and if i'm not doing that then i'm re i'm writing or i'm reading scripts or thinking of concepts or even i'm like working on a book right now so it's or, or it's painting your fingernails or painting your fingernails i already chipped this one off yeah painting my fingernails um well i mean yeah this one's this one i i i'm surprised i haven't chipped them all off because i do it out of like anxiety i'll just like start chipping them off but um this one's this one's the only one that's been affected so far um but yeah i think and i don't sleep <laughs> you, i do I not tell. Sleep. like you probably work a lot what's so what was it like working with eva longoria which is oh is she your crush do you like eva longoria well we're we're setting up with eva longoria in here she do be married though, but you know, I'll put it in a good word. Maybe y'all can like me have a little Yeah, put it in a good word. A little moment. So this guy you learned to a TikTok dance move too um, from Ohio. Well yeah, I don't know. Does she have a TikTok? I know she has like this cute little like Instagram thing where she teaches you how to cook stuff and like her favorite stuff to cook it. It's so cute. Oh my god, I want her to be my mom. But um no, it was great working with her because she she is a mom. I mean she understands it, like she understands she has a maternal instinct, so whenever I was on set, she was always checking in on me. I've never really had a bad, mm, actually, I've had one bad experience with an actor, but that's it. Out of all the people I've worked with, only one bad experience, so I'm very lucky. I'm very grateful for that. So do you and Eva still text? You guys still Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat? What's going on? Um, It's mostly just like Instagram. Instagram. Really? But I do have her number, though. I yes, do. let's text her. Let's text her. See what, Eva's doing, <laughs> see what Eva's up to. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know. If any, if anything, I would just text her to be like, can I babysit your cute baby, please? Like, Aww. her baby, Santi, he's so adorable. He would be, he would be on set, like, fresh out the womb. He would be on set. She, that, she was, like, like, postpartum when she started filming Dora. And she looked so good. I was Great. so surprised. But, yeah, the baby was, like, bald-headed on the set. Being quiet as hell, like, even when we were rolling. I was very impressed, like, very impressed. Yeah, I remember we interviewed her during the press run for Dora. Yeah, we did. There. We did meet, didn't we? We did. I interviewed we her. We, I interviewed Eva. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Sorry. So now we're meeting. Now we're now we're hanging out. Let's, well, is uh, it? Yeah. I mean, it'll count when I meet you in person. But I feel like we're getting to know each other very exactly. Yeah. If you, yeah. When you come to Los Angeles, come hang out in the Hollywire Studio. We're gonna play a bunch of games. But we have some games to play right now, though. Also. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're, we're gonna play some games. We're gonna play uh, the six second challenge. Okay. What, is, six, okay, what happens? <laughs> I'm going to explain it. Hold on. I'm just, I'm just setting you up. I'm setting oh, okay. you up for how, in, how intense this is, okay? It's very intense. I don't I'm know gonna, her. You get six seconds to answer these questions, and you're going to hear the buzzer go on, and then you're going to hear the buzzer go off. Oh, my God. My anxiety just went. <laughs> yeah. Stress. This is okay. just this is quarantine stress. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Okay. Six seconds. Are you ready? Uh, yeah. This is my game show voice. I love it. Okay, here like we go. Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> Ryan Seacrest. Okay. Two guilty pleasures. Um, chocolate and, uh, crime shows. Three seconds. You're, you're breaking records already on Hollow Wire. One for one. You have a song called Chocolate. Oh my gosh. Okay, I did not mean to do that. That was, that was totally, that was the universe. 
aligning for a moment. What kind there. of chocolate do you like? All of it. All of it, like dark chocolate. I like the kind that's in my mouth that I can Ooh, digest. Okay. Yeah, wow. I like Brilliant. the kind that I can just eat. I had some Air One vegan chocolate this morning. Is it just no, dark chocolate, good. just cacao? Is that what that was? Or what? Is it, would would vegan chocolate just be cacao, like really dark chocolate? I don't know. We just said it on the label, and I got it. You got? Are you? You guys are uh, building something? Um. Yeah. No, we're assembling a closet. Uh, because I have too many clothes. Oh wait! I have a six-second challenge for that. I have a okay. Okay. Challenge. Wait. One second. Hey, no. can we can we pause for just a second, please? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Or, okay. or join the interview. Or join the interview. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Um. Favorite pair of tennis shoes or any shoes? Um, I like my Comme des Garcons Nike collab shoes and also my slides. My chunk, my chunk glass, basically. Wow, you got that in five seconds. Two for two. You, oh are God. you so you're you like sneakers? I do like sneakers. I wouldn't say I'm a sneaker head, but because like my brother's into it, I kind of his like knowledge is kind of filtered down to me. Yeah, but I like okay. clothes. Loves, I love sneakers. I'm a huge sneaker fan. Okay, uh, here, here we go. Six seconds. Who is probably the most A list celebrity you've ever met? Uh, Mark Wahlberg or Jason Moore. Wow, you knew that one really quick. That was like before I even said the question. Well, I'm just so nervous. I think I'm thinking of answers before you even say anything. That's cool <laughs> you met Mark Wahlberg, though. That guy's awesome. Okay, um, just Describe a loving person in three words. Uh, my mom and my dog and my other dog. <laughs> More than three words. I love it. <laughs> three things. I don't. I don't know why my mind went there. <laughs> so you're 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 100 here in the game so far. Uh, what? Uh, here we go. Okay, here we go. Two makeup must-haves. Uh, my lip liner and my eyebrows. Wait. <laughs> Actually, fun fact, these are taped on, so <laughs> Really? You are no. <laughs> those are taped but on? I definitely I definitely made it sound like that, huh? No, these are my I, dad's. These are definitely my dad's eyebrows. <laughs> I have an eyebrow that like it's it just keeps growing really long. We don't need to go there though. I don't even know why. Why don't you just let it be? Just let it be let it, loose. Let it thrive. Like a whole thing. Let it thrive in a natural environment, okay? I think I'm intrigued to see what you can do with it. Yep. Okay, here we go. Uh, <laughs> the next question. Okay. Who is a loving person in your life right now? My mom. Aw. I love my mom. <laughs> okay, so does your mom, who speak? does the whole family speak Spanish? No, nope, just my mom. Well, I mean, well, yeah, she, we learned it from her, basically, is like, which I'm really grateful for because a lot of a lot of people, you know, when they have immigrant parents, they kind of are taught to assimilate. So, I mean, she was just like, screw it. You might not know how to speak English in school, but you'll learn. So she just wanted us to speak Spanish as kids. I'm so jealous. I wish I would have learned another language. I never did. I, um, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know can. how I passed Spanish. I did pass Spanish class. But, so, but, but I got a Spanish, a, a game we're going to play. Okay. Another game. Okay. And these are internet slang words. Okay. But I want you to say a phrase, any phrase you want, but use the internet slang word in there. Okay. Is it, we got that? We got that? I think, okay. I, I think I'm going to kill so, it. But oh, you have okay. to say it in Spanish. Do it in Spanish. Oh, in Spanish? You have to say it in Spanish. Ooh. Ooh. And I have to incorporate the word? The English word? Yep, yep. Okay. 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 Let's see if we can try this. I just made this game up, you know? Just made it up. Oh, I like okay. that. I like First that. internet word is shipping. Ship it? Shippy? Shipping. Oh, shipping. shipping. Oh. Uh, cuando veo a... Cuando veo a dos celebridades que son guapísimos, me encanta hacer el shipping entre los dos. Wow, that was like a full paragraph. Yeah, I just said when I see two hot celebrities, I like to ship them both. Who are, we, who are we shipping right now? Margot Robbie and Zoe Kravitz. <laughs> wow. <But yeah. laughs> Margot Robbie, didn't she just book a new movie? Perhaps, prop, but is she going to film it anytime soon? That's the question. That is the question. She's the new Pirates, the, the all-female oh, cast yeah, of yeah. Pirates. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's going to be really cool. That's yeah. going to be really good.
Okay, here we go. The next word is stay woke. Stay woke. Um, <laughs> mira, con todo lo que está pasando hoy en el mundo, hay que, hay que leer mucho y, y investigar todo y también soportar o apoyar al Black Lives Matter movement and stay woke. Stay woke. What, what did you say? I said, with all the things going on in the world and the crazy climate, it's important to read a lot and investigate everything and support the Black Lives Matter movement and stay woke. Man, you, you get inspirational too on this. This is great. You did not just like really quick <laughs> Spanish. This is a full, this is good. No, I love Look, it. All the people in the comments are like, Dora, that's Dora. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, flex. The word is flex. Mmm. Me gusta ir a los discos en Perú y salir con mis amigas con un outfit um, super chévere. Y cuando llego al disco, siempre me dicen, oh, wow, she's, she's flexing on them. I don't, that was really lame, actually. I just said I like to go out to the clubs in Peru and put on a nice outfit. And when I get to the club, they always say, oh, she's flexing. She's That's, flexing. I don't know. It's stupid. Do was, not my best work. Do, are a lot of your fans uh, also, they speak Spanish, too? Um, yeah, well, it's interesting, like, a lot of, specifically in my comments on Instagram or YouTube, they're always in, like, half English, half Spanish, which is pretty dope, I mean. They're saying it in the comments. Let's get them to say some stuff in Spanish in the comments. Come on, guys. Somebody said, okay, I mean, yeah, this Dora, 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 Dora. This could be good. Let's have the fans ask a question in Spanish. You read it, but then you have to say it back in English. Soy chilengo, <laughs> chileno. Tengo... Y hablo como mexicano. I mean, I don't know what I talk like. A lot of people say I, I talk in Spanish like Selena Quintanilla. Como que su español no es perfecto, pero, pero habla mucho. She knows the basics. ¿Cómo estás? Somebody said, what's up? Um, muy bien, estoy aquí hablando con mi amigo de Hollywire. Hola, es España. Somebody here from, is from Spain. Wow. Orgullo Latino. Somebody said they're very proud. It's, I'm a... I'm a Latin, they're proud of me. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, it's just like they're, they're, they're proud of me, basically. Um, ¿A dónde se viva? Um, well, I'm, I'm in Los Angeles right now. Argentina, we got somebody from Argentina. Somebody said, Arriba, Dora la Exploradora. ¿Cuántos años tienes? I'm, I'm, well, I'm turning 19 in a week. Do you know what's going on right now? Are you lost? Oh, I'm loving it. I can, by oh. you just doing this, I'm like invested. Like, I'm totally into this. This is great. Isabela, sabes muchas jergas peruanas. A few, like, um, flaca, flaco. Um, oh, my God. Why am I blanking right now? Um, I know a few. Why am I blanking? Um, yo, Bella, got a Janae, get a Janae feature. Um, I love Janae. I call it. ¿Cómo estás tu día? Muy bien. ¿Qué proyectos tienes? Bueno, tengo una película que va a salir pronto en Netflix. No sé si va a salir... Um, este año o la próxima, pero I'll keep you guys updated. Somebody said bonjour. Um, so everybody's like, hola, ¿cómo estás? El Salvador, in the house. Causa, causa is, okay, so causa is like. What's causa? Homie, homie, it's like. Homie? Causa, yeah. Causa. Um, get, get Frank Ocean on a track. Oh my God, I would love to. Okay, yeah, let's, let's talk about who. Yeah. Who, who in, in the Latin world would you love to collaborate with? Um, I would love to collaborate with Rosalia. Or oh Rosalia. my God, she's so good. She's super cool. I actually like we go to the same. Um, we go to the same vocal coach. Can you uh, make that happen, please? She is awesome. Um, she's amazing. I'm sorry. I'm like reading the comments. I'm really bad at multitasking. Uh, oh, cool. Yeah, no, this one, this one, this movie's with Jason Momoa. Um, I did the, the new movie coming out on Netflix with Jason Momoa. With Jason Momoa? Mm hmm And when does that come out? That, that, I don't know. I was telling the person, like, it's, it's either going to come out this year or that or like, next year, like, depending on what's going on, but I'm going to keep them updated. What's the, what's the Netflix show, movie or show called? And tell us what it is. Sweet Girl, is. Sweet Girl. Niña, sweet Girl? Niña Linda, Niña Dulce, Niña. I don't know how to say that in Spanish, but it sounds kind of weird in Spanish. Um, but, um, yeah, basically, it's, 
I don't know what, like, I don't know how much I can say. Basically, it's like action thriller. Uh, cool. Really, it's a really intense movie for sure. Definitely, uh, there's there's probably gonna be rated R or something. Um, cool. But it should be fun. It should be a good time. <laughs> it was definitely new for me to do. It was definitely a new. It was a new kind of thing for me. If you could collaborate with any male, who would you collaborate with? Any male, uh, Frank Ocean. Frank Ocean. For sure. For sure. Awesome. Yeah. You're amazing. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Thank you. I'm I'm so happy that you like wanted everyone to speak Spanish. I have a lot of Spanish fans, and they don't they don't ever get to speak Spanish. Oh, it's so on, cool. On oh, we have a Hollywire has a lot of them too. So I just feel like it's a cool thing to to get oh, to do this okay. actually. Yeah. No, for sure. It's really fun. I I can't wait to um, do more content in Spanish and more songs in Spanish and English and whatnot. But yeah, you're you're amazing, Isabella. Can you look at the camera and say your first and last name and say? Hi, what's going on? Uh, Isab I'm Isabella, and you're watching Hollywire. Hey, what's going on? I'm Isabella Merced, and you're watching Hollywire. You're bye. Awesome. Are we actually leaving, or are we saying bye for the video? But we're saying, yeah, we're saying bye. This is it. Oh, we're leaving. Yes, no. we're leaving. Okay, when get back to me on that TikTok dance, okay? I'm, I'm going to come back to the TikTok dance. And you're in Ohio right now? Um, I No, okay. no, I moved You don't to need LA. to say where you are. You don't need to say where you are, but yeah. <laughs> I moved to LA, basically. Come visit us in LA in the studio when this is all over. Perfect. Okay. Let me know. I will. It was a fun time. Good job on the games. Thank you, Isabella. Game maker. All right. I'll see you. Bye. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, bye.